Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming a book haul. It is that time again. My last book haul was way too big. I think it was like 80 books or something. Today I only have 39. Today I only have 39. I didn't bother waiting for that one book to come so it will be 40 so we're dealing with the fact that it's 39 okay yeah it's basically just the books i received in my house lately lots of them about photologists and lots of exclusive editions as per usual because usually uh lately i'm only buying books that i'm no one gonna read for a certain thing or exclusive editions i probably ordered like three months ago and then they come that sound was something falling, if you could hear that. As per usual, going in order, I've seen them in my house and not talking too long about each book or else we will be here forever. And then I need to somehow fit it all in my shelves afterwards. That's like the bigger struggles with this because at least when I don't film a haul, I can put it off for ages. Also, I need to mute my computer, give me a second. The first book we have is in the bottom of the pile, of course, so. I plan for this really well. It is Anyway the Wind Blows by Rainbow Rowell. I have the Waterstones exclusive edition, which has like the nice, I don't know what to call it, sprayed edges with like the flowers. They did the thing again where it's only on one side, not the other. And yes, I bought it to match my other one, which is right here and also has flowers on it, if you can see that. And this is the third and final book in the Simon Snow trilogy and Carry On is was my favorite book. I am indecisive now and I should have been super excited to read this and should have probably read this at once and I had it for I don't know when I got this in July I don't know when whatever and I still haven't read it so that's actually a bit sad and I don't know when I will but I don't want to talk about it it makes me sad let's move on to the next one Wings of Shadow by Nikki Parapetto this one is actually better to hold the book on this side it's the third and final book in this trilogy as well, I believe it is the third and final book. And it's like a book with the ride on phoenixes and stuff. And I pre-ordered this and I read the first book and I really, really enjoyed it. And I have the second book and now I have the third book but I haven't actually read two and three yet. It is like on my goals actually this year to finish this series. I don't know if it ever happened but like since I did enjoy the first book so much, I'm very excited to continue and I'm excited to have the third and final book. And yeah, the covers are pretty so... Recommend this if you like Y Fantasy. The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. This one I also had pre-ordered and it's like a ghost horror thriller thing and it seems super, super fun. I'm actually reading this for God of Fingers season now in October. So I will be reading this very, very soon and I'm so excited for it since I heard about it and it just seems spooky and perfect for the season that we're in right now and yeah what else to say the wolf and the woodsman by ava raid i think this was a lumicrate book either for may or june i actually can't remember but either way it is here i think it's a really really stunning edition with like really really nice spread edges and it's a very pretty book overall. I didn't actually know much about it and i didn't know if i would pick it up if i didn't get an lumicrate but i had to get the first book to get like the next ones which was the one i was initially interested in but like i don't mind having this and i'm sure if i read it maybe i will love it maybe i will hate it i actually don't know much about it to actually know how i will feel about it but i have a really pretty edition so that's always a plus that we have one of my most anticipated releases of the year and i'm very 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 excited that i finally have it and that is she overcame the sun by shelly parker chan and this one i have two editions of so i had already pre-ordered the us normal hardcover which is super super pretty i always love this cover since it was announced and then I got the Illumicrate edition which is so stunning I cannot deal with it like just the edges and how like they match the colors of the cover and just fade into each other into a dark orange and then a lighter maybe orange and then eventually like a yellow it is beautiful it is stunning with 100% die for this edition and also i have a sign book plate i haven't actually put in and yeah so i adore this and i don't know which one i will actually read in but yeah this will be read hopefully very soon because i i i've been so excited for it and i have been wanting to read it since you know it was announced i just haven't fit it in anywhere because i plan so much of my reading and then when something comes out i like oh i forgot this was coming out it is a whole thing but 
two very pretty editions, very happy. I then wanted the books for one day. I was gonna buy this box set, it wasn't in the store at the time. I have it now, but that will come later because I had to wait for it. So I ended up just buying one random book and they had a Jasmine Throne by Tassel Suri. This one I've been hearing so, so many great things about and it is the first book in a series and it's an effort romance and I'm very excited for it. And I was really excited to see that I had it and I just picked it up because I just picked up something random in the store, which is fun to do like, of course I heard about it before, but it's just fun to go in the store and be like not plan always but yeah my plans got ruined so there's that <laughs> then i got my pre-order for a lesson in vengeance by victoria lee which is victoria lee's newest novel and it is a sapphic dark academia standalone yes i'm very excited yes i wish i already read it i still haven't though but yeah just very very excited there came so many books around in this time that's been now and i got them and i just haven't read any of them and i'm sad but i am so excited to read this very like yeah okay i literally went around looking for a book for like five minutes now because i couldn't find it and it was right in front of me the whole time the next thing i received was demon slayer volume 7 which is the next volume in the series very excited, demon slaying, woohoo. Struggling to get the next one, so after I read this, I will be upset. I then got my edition of Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. This is the UK hardback, and it's super, super stunning and pretty. Everyone saw this, I think it went viral on TikTok at least, and then everyone wanted it, and it went out of print pretty fast. Pre order got cancelled, but then I ordered it again, and I actually got it, so I'm very, very happy. It's stunning. I am very excited to read this. I've been wanting to read Alyssa Lim's books for a while. I've ordered a fairly lot set, which is not here yet, but when it comes, it will be stunning and match this, kinda. So very excited to start the books and yay, this is stunning. Do I know what it's about? No. But I wanted to read it anyway, so there's that. Then I got Solo Lovely Volume 2 by Xu Gong. This one is like the manhwa version. I had it on pre-order, so I was lucky to get a copy, but I know it's really hard to get it now, so I'm really happy. This will be read like very soon this month, like it's on my TBR for September. So I will read it pretty soon and I'm very, very excited to continue. The first volume was so, so good. Excited to have the second volume and the third one is soon out too. So hopefully I will be lucky and get that as well. Continuing my reread of Earthsea, I got The Tombs of Atuan by Ursula K. Le Guin. So I got the first book in this edition for my birthday and then I just decided to go ahead and buy this edition because I listened to this on the audiobook in August. So like, I just wanted it like since I was reading it at the time, kind of, even though I wasn't physically reading it. And then soon I will get the third and fourth one so that I have the whole set of these because they are stunning. Then I got my Illuminate set of Raybearer and Redemptor. They had their own like special edition box. These are completely special editions to Illuminate. They are stunning, truly beautiful. It has the fade thing on the side as well, where it has two different colors in the middle and it fades to one on the top and on the bottom. It is stunning, I adore them. And they're really pretty books. You can see my face in between them. That's not so pretty as the books. <laughs> Either way, I have a rainbow. I'm very excited to read Redemptor eventually. And I've been excited for the sequel since I read the first book. I'm just excited to have these pretty editions. Happiness. With pretty books, happiness. And I ordered some books for my Goldfinger Season Challenge. So the first one I received was The Bright Test by Lin Wong. This one I already read now in September. And yeah, you will hear my thoughts in my wrap up. To Your Eternity, Volume 2 by Yoshi Toki Oima. This one just continuing in this manga series. And I read the first one, so of course I ordered the second one. It was unnecessarily difficult to get this, but. Finally, here we are. Then we have the box that, that finally came and that I initially wanted when I went to the bookstore that time. It is a box set of Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. It is the first original series, which is again my least favorite in the series, but I wanted these editions. I never planned to get a box set, I planned to buy them one on one. But then I just realized it's cheaper to get a box set. And also, the box set is pretty cool. So then you can like, they stand really nice together. It is like one art, one character in each cover, and they're standing under, I assume, the bridge of Manhattan or something. And then you can just get the whole art around the thing, and it just looks really pretty together. I don't bother taking this out. I assume people know how the books look like. This is the UK paperbacks, not the US ones. I never buy those, so there's that. And I've wanted this edition for a long time, so here we are, and I got them, okay? I have a lot of editions of these books, but since I am... 
well, I am really actually rereading this now right now, or even though that is on pause, I just thought it was fitting to get them now when I'm actually reading them again. Yay. In the bookstore, I was planning to get two more books at least. They had one of the one I wanted, but I got that other one later. But one of them was New Spring by Robert Jordan, and this one I did listen to the audiobook on, but of course I wanted a physical copy to complete my whole set. So, I read this. It was great. It's a prequel to the series, and I have a nice edition that matched the other ones I have. That's the most important thing. While I was there, they had two other books I had been interested in a long time and finally bought. And I see now I haven't even taken the price tag off because I have been off my game. So I need to take that off before I show you because I can't just like keep the price tag on. I can't believe I didn't take them off. I always do that first thing when I come home. I don't know what I was thinking that day. The first one being A Master of Gin by P. Jelly Clark. And I read another book by the author, which was like kind of a short story novella. And I really, really liked it. And since hearing about this, I've been wanting to read it. And I finally got a copy. I didn't know they had like the UK paperback edition of this, but they have it. So I'm happy because the hardcover was very expensive. And yay, excited to read this when I do. And then the other book I got, which also has a price tag on. I don't know why. This is not usual for me, but here we are. We have Phoenix Extravagant by Yoon Ha Lee, and I want to read everything by Yoon Ha Lee anyway, but like, this cover and like what I've been hearing about this, cannot wait to read it. It's like a sci-fi, I assume, and I just can't wait, okay? So yeah, surprised by all my bookstore visits in this video though, but it's been a few months, so there's that. Then got Beastars Volume 9 by Power Itagaki, continuing the story in this manga. And actually like, I'm not caught up, but like I'm closing in, I'm catching up and I'm surprised. And I'm excited to continue this really weird but fun manga series. I then got Girl, Serpent, Thorn for my God Think Season Challenge by Melissa Bashar Daust. I read this now in September. Thoughts on my wrap up? Yay, it uh, has FF representation. All Systems Red by Marta Wells, which I am reading for Sci-Fi September and it's why I bought a copy. I haven't actually read this yet, but it will be like next week, probably. I don't even know. So very soon and I'm excited to finally start this series. The Wolf's Water Insurrection by Tay Thompson, which is the second book in the Warm War trilogy, which I was also reading for Cypher September, and I already read it, and thoughts in my wrap up. Winter's Orbit by Averina Maxwell, which I also bought for Cypher September, and I am actually currently reading this as I'm filming it, and I hope to finish this today, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But overall, the book I'm currently reading excited to talk about it in my wrap-up and excited to finally read it because I've been hearing so many great things. Then I got my favorite edition of XOXO by Axie O. I ordered this many 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 months ago when Fairylute announced their edition and it is like a K-pop novel I think and it has big edges and it's very cute and it has apparently a soundboard play to that I forgot it had and I'm excited to read this. I was gonna read this anyway and I kind of just like bought the Fairylute edition on a whim and it was like it was very expensive but now I have it so here we are. Are you gonna fall. It doesn't look well, but it's fine. I also got my favorite edition of The Iron Raven by Julie Kagawa, which is the newest book in the Iron Fae Evenfall series. So Fairly did a whole set of the new editions of like the original books in the series and then they were like we are going to make matching editions of the upcoming books as well. I don't know if it's going to be more or just one, but yeah it matches the other one. This one has yellow spread edges. It has like birds the same as the other ones in the set, which is all the way down there but yeah i'm just happy to match even though if it's more it will be very expensive but i already started collecting them so it's too late now also i'm reading the first book very soon and i'm very excited i then got my edition of the hollow heart by marie rutowski and this one is the second book in i think this duology and the first book being the midnight lie which you cannot see but it's over there and this one is the very edition did i say that i got a edition it got sold out pretty fast it's very very beautiful and pretty very different from the original one and i'm just happy i got myself a copy just a stunning book overall. It looks really huge compared to me. I don't know why. Um, I would take off the top because that looked dangerous. You can be here. It's fine. Oh my god, I lied. I have more books than 39 because I've forgotten to write some books off my list. I had forgotten to write up like five books if I'm correct. So it's actually 44 books here. 
And again, I could have waited for one more and it would have been 45, but it was not 39. So that's kind of funny. Well, whatever. There was then a sale in my local bookstore and I got a lot of books there. So starting off with those. Initially, I got A Memory of Life by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. And this is the final book in The Wheel of Time. I was going to get it when I got New Spring, but I didn't have it in that store. And then later was sale. They had it in that other store. I have the final book. I have the whole set. I am happy. And I do not know where to put it because it's not safe on top of here. I just put it here. I then got The Tropic of Serpents by Marie Brennan and this one is the second book in the memoir by Lady Trent series and I got this because I was going to start this book series this year and have the first book and I just thought might as well buy the second one when it was on sale and yeah but I don't know if I've actually started but I will read them eventually so it's just nice to collect them so you don't have to wait if you want to binge the series which I never do but there's that. I was Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, which I am sure everyone has heard about. I haven't actually read it. I've been knowing a book for a billion years and of course I know about the movie. I haven't watched it because I want to read a book first. Never actually read a book. So here we are and I talked to someone lately and it was like their favorite book. So I was just like, okay, I will read it soonish. I will at least get it <laughs> so that I can read it soonish. I don't know that where that will be, but it at least prompted me into actually getting it now. Finally, after planning to it for been in ages, and I'm excited for it because I've been hearing about it for like, as I said, a billion ages. Yay. And then they had No More People by Sally Rooney, which I've been hearing so many great things about lately. I've been hearing so many great things about Sally Rooney's book in general. I know a new one just came out, but I want to read the first ones first. And then I didn't know what else to get while I was in the store so I just got conversation with friends as well because they have them both there and you know it was a sale so I got them both I am so excited to read it I've been hearing amazing things about them I like it's not fantasy it's like I was gonna say fiction contemporary I don't even know I think someone correct me if I'm wrong and I think it's gonna be like very touching or at least about like life and life and I think I would really like them like I really like things that touch me that sounded gross but I would like touching stories and I think that these will be it. If I don't like them I will be so sad and disappointed because I've been hearing so many great things and I'm excited to have them both and then eventually read the third book when it comes in the matching editions as these because can have a not matching edition you know. I lied because I missed another book again so it's actually 45 books here. Well that is life. We have Ruin by John Quine which is the third book in the Faithful and Fallen series. I was about to say the final book but there's one more which I bought in the same sale because I am on a roll. I'm gonna finish this series. I would have think bought the fourth book but I didn't have that one. They had one two three but not four. So yeah I will read it soon and then hopefully get the fourth book soon as well and finish the whole thing this year. That's great. Earlier on the list, I forgot the Redemptor by Jordan Ifueko, which is the second edition I have of it. And I got two signed book plates with the falling out of the book. This is the Fairlit edition that matches Ray Bearer, which I also did an edition of. And I had the first edition, I needed to get the second one, of course. And it is beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. I love this edition. I love the decorated edges. It's just a stunning edition. It was supposed to be longer up on my list. I just didn't read it because it stood Redemptor twice. So, you know, because I had a little great edition. But I have it. It's gorgeous. I really, really like these editions. And now I have two sets of special editions of these gorgeous books and I'm happy. And hopefully I will enjoy the second book as much as the first book. I totally lost overview of like the order now because I messed everything up but we have The Night Circus by Erwin Morgenstern which is the Illuminate edition and I have a full unboxing of the box I did for this book and it is stunning it's a special edition of course it is black on the top and bottom and in the middle it's like striped and it's very cool and I am happy I got it and I haven't read it yet but hopefully I will soon and yay for special editions this is why I'm poor. And then we have The Ever Cruel Kingdom by Winter Peckle, which is the second book to The Never Tilting World, which is a duology. I thought it was a trilogy, but it's a duology. And this um, wraps up the story. And we read the first book for Face and Gaze, which is my book club. And I've been wanting to read a sequel since then, but it never fit in. And now it finally did. And I'm reading it now in October for Go to Think for Seasons. So I got an edition now. Actually, my best friend Erica got this for me. So thank you, Erica, for 
as always, filling my book addiction. And then, you know, I just said it was a sale in a bookstore. And then the next week they had another sale, which was like a different kind of sale. And then I had to go back. <laughs> um, I'm annoyed that I had two sales in a row because it made me poor, but I don't care because I went back because the first time I was there, I actually did want to buy more, but then I didn't. And then I'm like, oh, but it's another sale. And I was like, okay, then I just have no excuse but to go back. And I got three more books from the bookstore, which will be the last ones here. I messed everything up, but it's fine. So I got Blood Rose by Nicholas Eanes, which is a sequel to Kings of the Wild. And I've been wanting to read this and they were supposed to be read this year, but I don't know if it will happen. But now I at least have one and two. I don't know if think three is out yet. Then we have The Rosewater Redemption by Ted Thompson, which is the third and final book in this trilogy. So that now I just want to buy the book I want since I know I will read the third book eventually anyway. So then I just have it ready and I'm excited to read the conclusion. And then I got, of all books, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I will be honest and I had never an intention of reading this book. I've been hearing about it for a billion years. Of course, it's like a really, really known and popular YA contemporary. And I just heard that everyone said it sucked except the plot twist. I had just didn't feel like reading it just because of a plot twist and I had a feeling I wouldn't like it. But then I met someone I really trust in book opinions and she was like, it is a really great book. It's very well written, even though yes, it is about privileged shit kids. It is really well written and it's a really good book and she writes really well. And I was like, mind blown because I could never could imagine that. And then I had this in the store and I looked at it and I was like, well dang, now I have to get it, don't I? Because now she made me curious and that happens when someone you know that you trust tells you this shit and it works, like word of mouth. That's like the best promo anyone could get. And here we are with We Were Liars. I don't know when I will read this. I just know that now I have to. I know I will read this like either way in like one sitting, so it's not gonna take me that much. But like, I can't believe I actually ended up buying this. I've been like not buying it for years. And now here we are. So yeah, I'm as surprised as you are if you were surprised. But yeah. Yay! Okay, so that was all the books. We ended up on 45, thought it was 39. It is 45. I didn't have that much manga and stuff this time. Like in all my hauls lately, it's been so much manga because I haven't been buying it so much lately because nothing is available and I've been using all my money as exclusive edition, so that's why I can't afford manga. It's great. Either way, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed my little haul with exclusive editions and just some normal editions and stuff. There were more books that like, I don't know when I'm planning to read this time around because like usually lately, as I said, I've been reading that once, but this time it was like, books on sale. It's the best thing. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a money emoji down below for the spoiled shit kids and you will see me soon in a new video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.